Back at the top. Here we go. Round three. You're going to start at the shin box switch. Grab your kettlebells. Two, one, and go. There we go. Here we go. Back at the top. Final round. Ten seconds in. You guys know what you're doing. You've been working through this. Now this last round is certainly just about surviving. Remember, you got to keep moving steady. Don't arch that lower back, guys. Keep your abs tight, hips tucked under. You're, you're expanding, you're extending your, your hips from the bottom down, bottom up. Not, not trying to push on with your belly button. 30 seconds in. Good. Here we go, here we go. Good. Inhale up, exhale down through the switch. Good. Manage your space. Here you go. Halfway through, halfway through. Don't put the weights down. You're trying to stay in motion. Don't stay in any place longer than three seconds. There's no rest here. 90 seconds of continuous movement, continuous work. Here we go, last 30 seconds, guys. Keep working, keep working. Good, keep those feet in place. Try not to lift your feet off the ground as you transition through the middle. Remember, one elbow in front of the knee, one elbow between the knee. When, here you go, keep those elbows down. 15 seconds left, you're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Don't put the weight down. Don't stop. Come on. Meter beat your previous scores. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Put the kettlebell down. Write down your score. Ready for the pullover. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Hips up, kettlebell doesn't touch the ground. Good. Don't let yourself scoot back, guys. Stay in that position. There we go. There we go. Come on, keep it going. Already 15 seconds in. All right, hips up, hips down, stand all the way up, all the way overhead. Kettlebell is aligned with the top of your head at the top. Shoulders down and arms lining up with the back of his ears. Now here, the guy's just coming up to a crunch. Remember, he's not sitting all the way up at level one. So keep the elbows into the ribs, sitting up into that crunch position. So there's constant tension on his core right here. If he sat up a little bit more, he'd actually be giving himself rest. If you feel like you're resting at the top of your seat, you're going up too high. You're halfway there. Come on, keep it going, fellas. Keep moving. Hips up, hips up. Good. Good. Keep it going. Almost done. This is the last time you're doing this one today. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. Keep it steady. Match your breath with your movement. Good. Almost there. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Dig deep. Keep moving. Don't stop now. Inhale those hips up. Hips up. Good. Roll your hips down. Crunch them. There we go, guys. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. Give you a couple more quality reps. Finish strong. Show me you got some energy left. Five seconds left. Three seconds to go. And time. All right. Here we go. Ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, guys, lift those hips up a little bit higher. Straighten out that back leg. Good. Pull the belly button in and lengthen through the top of your head. That's exactly what you want to do right there. Now, as guys doing this, he's putting a lot of weight on this front leg. And that's exactly what he wants because ideally he's going to be working off of one leg in the next week or so. 15 seconds down. All right, keep it going, Woody. Don't slow down now. You're almost done. Good. Hip square, shoulder square, lengthening through the top of the head. Don't look forward. Look forward and down. Good. Back leg straight. Back leg straight. Again, guys working one side for 45 seconds. He's going to try to switch at the halfway mark and meet or beat the score on the first side with the second side. He only scores the lowest of the two sides. Switch. Here we go. Come on, get in position. Let's go. Back leg straight. 
tips up a little bit, belly button pulled in, let's go. Match that score, meet, meet or beat the score. Again, you see his arms moving forward and back, but he's actively trying to control the rotation of his torso. He's not gonna twist. He's staying square as he can, reaching forward and back with each hand. All right, Woody, come on. Stabilize the pull. Almost there. Hit forward. Put that kettlebell down. Good. All right, here we go. Last 15 seconds, guys. Get those reps in. Get those reps. Back leg straight. Back leg straight. Good. Hips tucked under. Lift that chest a little bit. Pull the belly button, guy. Get the weight off that, that leg. Get the belly off the thigh. Three seconds left. One more rep. Time, okay. Put down your score. Last round, we're gonna hit the sprawls in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Last 90 second work set. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Keep it working. Good. Remember, butt to parallel. That was an excellent example, buddy. 10 seconds in. Let's go. How many reps can you get in this last 90 seconds? Your goal is to meet or beat any of the previous rounds. Don't let this be your lowest round. You got better as the rounds progress. You're actually hoping to get this to be your new best score in this exercise. The pace that you're gonna set for the next time you revisit this program. 30 seconds in. There we go, come on, keep working, keep working. Yes, good job. All right. All right, keep it going, Woody. Halfway there, halfway there. Don't slow down the second half of the round. Can you meet or beat what you got the first half of the round? Come on, double up your score. 40 seconds to go. Here we go, come on, there you go, Woody. Pull and squat. Almost done, come on. All right, make sure you're not pulling with a rounded back. Butt back, chest up, all right, guy? Come on, butt down, butt down. All right, here we go. All right, slow down, butt down, chest up, chest up, there you go. Now pull, perfect. Working on those mechanics so you can get to the higher levels. 15 seconds left, much better, good correction. Now mastery doesn't mean you're doing everything perfect. Mastery is the ability to self-correct. If you feel yourself coming out of form and you correct yourself, you're working towards mastery. One more rep. And time. Good job, guys. Write down your score. So now that you're done with all three rounds of the circuit, you're gonna go ahead, and figure out what the lowest score was on each of the four drills, circle that score, add them up, and that's your score for your workout. Good job.